What is the area of this little rectangle? We have a square, A, B, C, D. We got two circles inside, points of tangencies, radiuses of two, square root two, and square root two, circle N and T. And that creates this little rectangle down here, points of tangency again here. With just this information, what is the area of this lovely little rectangle? Follow this video, see if you can solve it, but as always, we're gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you a way to solve this problem. All right, first thing is let's go draw some lines here. I'm gonna connect diagonal from N to B and look, it goes perfectly through these center circle points. If I can make sure it's lined up before I draw it, Sean. All right, go through, bing, bang, bingo. Not perfectly to scale, but yeah. Notice here, tendency here. Line. I'm going to draw another vertical line here. It goes through the point of tangency to the circle, point of tangency all the way down. Um, let's go do that here. All the way right there. And let's go label some points. I call this point M up here. While we're at it, uh, I call this Q. Little Q right down there. Little points. Okay. Now I'm also going to draw a perpendicular or a horizontal line right here perpendicular to this vertical line from T to, and look, it's just below that rectangle here. And I call that point P right here. And just so it's all good, I believe I call this point G where it intersects there. All right, so we have lovely stuff going on because I drew this perpendicular, there's gonna be a little right angle right there. And yeah, I think we have all the little extra drawings we're gonna do here. So let's go dive in and talk about what we need to see here. I see that there is a right triangle right here. We got our triangle and a TP, and TP right here. And I wanna see if I can figure out the lengths of this triangle. Now, notice this triangle has this first radius right there, and then we have a second radius. So we have NT, so uh, let's put it right here. That right here. NT has the length of the radius two, square root two, plus this one, the square root two, which is a three square root two. So the length here of this triangle, we have a three square root of two right there. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Notice when we drew the diagonal across here of the big square, right angles of square, that means this little angle right here is that 40 degrees. That angle, because this is a right angle, we have a right angle down here, they're parallel lines. This little angle is also 45 degrees congruent, which means we have a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, special triangle that has side lengths that are a, a, a square root of two. So what does that tell us here? Since 45, 45, 90 degree triangles have a side length proportion of AA, A square root of two, we can say that NP is equal to three, right? Because that would be this length three, which is equal to PT. So our triangle is three, and then we have a three right there. Now, what is the length of GP? GP, that little distance right there, well, GP that length is equal to the length of NP minus NG. NP minus an NG, which, well, we can see. NP, that overall length we said was a three minus the length of NG, which is the radius two square root two. So we have that little distance here, and my goal is I want to find the length of EA, because again, rectangle length times width. So we have the length of GP, and the length of P to Q is the same as this radius right here, that circle, how we drew it. So GQ, uh, GQ, not GG, GQ, which is equal to the same length as the rectangle EA, which is equal to GP plus PQ, which is three minus two square root two, plus this length of radius, which is the square root of two. 
All right, that simplifies. So EA here, that length here is three minus two square root two plus one square root two, which is three minus one of the square roots of two. So now we just need to figure out if we can find the length of A F across the board here. All right, now to do that, I wanna find the length of M Q first. You'll see why in a second. So let me separate this out here. Do, 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 do. All right, M Q. MQ, that length, well, that's gonna be the radius plus the radius plus that height that we just found here of EA. So we can do it as, oh, why don't we do it like this? Two square root two, that first radius, two square root two, plus here from this point down here, we said was three to P, and P, which is three, plus one square root two the other radius, and that's gonna be the overall length of MQ. Simplifying that up is gonna be MQ is two square root two plus one square root two is a three square root two plus three, right there. And that's equal to the length across the board here of AB. So that's equal to AB, right? Because it's a square, height, width, same thing going on here. So keep on going with that. If we can subtract the length of FB, so AF is equal to AB minus FB. Those lengths. AF minus, or so AB we said was same as MQ, three square root two plus three minus FB, which has a radius of square root two. And that's circle, but we double that, so it's two square root two right there. So AF, simplifying this, we have three square root two minus two square root two is gonna be a one square root two. So we have three plus a square root of two as well here. All right, so the area of the rectangle is length times width, and we have that. EA and AF, we know, right here and here. So we gotta multiply them out. Our area equals EA times AF. Multiplying that out, if I have room, EA is three minus square root of two. Isn't it lovely how this happens? And three plus square root of two, which is AF. Multiplying that out, I'm gonna make sure I have enough space here. So our area equals, three times three is the nine. Well, difference of squares, three square root of two. Uh, negative square root of two times three, they cancel each other out, we're good. Negative square root of two times a positive square root of two becomes a minus a two right there, right? Uh, the square roots get rid of the squares and it's minus and we have area equals nine minus two Which is seven units squared. So after all of that our little lovely rectangle right here Has an area of seven units squared. It's kind of nice when it works out to be a nice integer value All right, is that the answer you got if so great if you got it a different way though I would love to hear that in the comment section below as always here Thanks for watching